Allow me to introduce myself. I am Ernst Stavro Ew, Lofeld. Ew, his face! Do you remember yes, this is my second life. No. You only live twice, Mr. Bond. Hey guys, welcome back. This is Jeroen, better known as Dutch Bond fan, and today I am once again rejoined by my beautiful girlfriend, Lirit. <laughs> Hi! Today we are reacting to 1967's You Only Live Twice, the fifth Bond movie, once again starring Sean Connery. Oh? Yeah, he once again uh, returns for the fifth time in a row. Okay. Um, what comes to mind when you hear the title You Only Live Twice? He's going to die in this movie? Twice? <laughs> You're, you are pretty close, actually, there. It's, um, it's very strange. Yeah, it's a Fleming-based title. Um, he mentioned you only live twice, once when you are born and once when you look dead in the eye. Okay. Um, that's in the books. A uh, couple of facts about this movie. This is the first Bond movie to not be uh, closely based on the novel. This was more of an original story. And another fun fact is it was written co-written at least by uh, Roald Dahl. Oh! Who, uh, I think you know as well, right? Yes, I know him. From Matilda. Matilda, yeah. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Oh yeah, Factory. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Matilda, you're right. Yeah, yes. so he... Uh, so helped. there's going to be like a good story now. <laughs> oh, oh, shots are fired! <laughs> well, we'll see if you like this story or not, who knows, but um, if you are interested in watching the full-length reaction, you can watch that on my Patreon page, uh, so you can see the whole thing, but um, we will once again be <laughs> delving into uh, another Bond movie, so uh, let's see how you enjoy You Only Live Twice. Yeah, but this one is black and white. Oh, yeah! And the music. And, yeah. It's different. It's Asian. Here, it's like Japanese. Cape Cod and Jupiter 16. Can you confirm O2 pressure is within limits? And, uh, oh, no, United States. I see it. Control system. One. Mark. Okay, we're going outside? Mm hmm. Is it even possible? Yeah. Now I see it. It's another That's space the bad guy. I repeat, it's another spacecraft. I repeat, the planet is over. Yeah. He's going to swallow them. Chris, get back in. Get back in. Oh, and that guy. <gasps> That's a terrible death. Our man in Hong Kong is working on it now. And that's James Bond. James Bond. We've had some interesting times together, Ling. I'll be sorry to go. Where is he? He's dead? No, he's not dead. Too late. Well, at least he died on the job. He'd have wanted it this way. Bye. Do you recognize the music? No. Never heard this? Uh, this song is by Nancy Sinatra, mm -hmm. the daughter of uh, Frank Sinatra. But I thought you may recognize the opening tune from um, Robbie Williams' Millennium. I'm not a fan of Robin Williams. No, me neither, but maybe you know the song. Okay, no, fair enough. So what are you expecting to see from this movie when you look at the film? A lot of uh, like Asian... Is it Japan or China? Japan, yeah. Well, he was in China just now, mm -hmm. in Hong Kong, but... And a lot of lava. Yeah. So there is a volcano? Correct. Probably. Make one dream come true. You only live twice. 
all normal boats and then one military boat. Yeah. Commander Bond. Ah. Yeah. It's a military funeral. And this is MI6. Or is it Spectre again in black? No. No, you're right. <laughs> it's MI6. <laughs> I'm just referring to Fun Ball. <laughs> Request permission to come aboard, sir. Permission granted. Thank you. <laughs> so, this is for real? He has a rank Look, in the yeah. army? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Commander Bond. That's always been the case. MI6 is a military mm -hmm. intelligence. It's quite the same. Yeah. It's M's office in the yes. submarine. Oh, sit down, 007. Even the desk. Yeah. But and the, the lamp. lamp. But not the ladder door. No. And her oh, office way. looks the same. How is the girl? Is you may need it. You forget I took a first in Oriental languages at Cambridge. So this story is underway a lot faster, right? Yes. Like Thunderbolt, they showed how the bombs were stolen. It took longer to get started. A lot, started. a lot faster. This is just like find out by, mm -hmm. and they're firing him into Japan with the uh, through the torpedo. Yes. I want to go to Tokyo. They have a lot of rules. But, but this is Japan in the 60s. Yeah. These are all extras, eh? Yeah. Can you believe it? All extras. They didn't have much trouble finding Asian people in this movie. Like in Dr. No, they, they didn't get cast much Asians. But, but here they, they are in Japan. Yeah. Um, they filmed the, in Japan. Yeah, a lot of the scenes are really in Japan. Hmm. So now he has to say it. What? The password line. I love you. Yeah. But he never s says it. said it before. I love you. I have a car nearby. Oh, where do you suggest we go? I know a quiet hotel. <laughs> It's not the same car. This is a Toyota. <laughs> They're in Japan. Mm -hmm. There's no window. Yeah, that's what I always saw. The green screen wiped it away a bit. I always notice too, it looks so weird. Thank you. I'm glad you got it right. What? He, he has a false leg. Bond wants to test if he's really Henderson. It could just show them. Yeah. Right? It is the most closely guarded secret in Japan. It was stirred, not shaken. Yeah. Oh, you, you just, you, you were thinking. <laughs> stirred, not shaken. That was right, wasn't it? He did. And he said, he actually says it. You, you notice before he says the line. That's stirred, not shaken. It's a mistake in the movie, I think. They, they didn't really get the shaken, not stirred down yet, I think. <laughs> Or it's on purpose. I never knew, but well done for spotting that before the line. So impressed by your <laughs> level of detail sometimes. He's industrial concern. It Is he dead? Oh. Asians were wearing mouth masks way before they were mm -hmm. popular. <laughs> they always do, right? Chemical huh? engineering? Oh, Sato, yes. Like, all the walls it's are made from paper, yeah. I was just gonna say. He's good. Using the couch. But the couch is then really light. I guess. How did he know that there was a door? I didn't notice you. <laughs> I guess it was opened a bit or mm. he just tried, I don't know. Luckily oh, he, he has, has <laughs> like nothing in his pocket. 
Just no. I want to say to Craig, you everyday thing, you know. It's not like we saw a Q scene where we no. got it. But. She came from. Guess he was in the neighborhood. What do you mean? My job is to help you. There is something over there. Otherwise. I am so very pleased to meet you, Bonsan. I really am. I don't know who is that. The head of the Secret Service of Japan, that Henderson just said. My private train. I never travel in the streets of Tokyo. <laughs> So he has his own subway. Yeah. I imagine that your Mr. M in London has a similar arrangement. M? Oh yes, but of course. <laughs> this. Can you make it bigger? Ningpo. They know exactly where to enhance it. Yeah. Take your first civilized bath. Really? Well, I like the plumbing. <laughs> Place yourself entirely in their hands, my dear born son. In Japan, men always come first. Women come second. I might just retire to here. Yeah, it's very strange. It's it's culture in Japan. Who is big enough? Spectre. Could be. Yeah, Spectre again. Thank you. So he's back at yeah, he's Osata, back. where he was yesterday night. You are three and a half minutes early. Hey, they please be seated. Fix the paper. Fix it. Already. Hey. Statue is it's back. Already fixed. Thank you. It's it's too early in the morning for me. You're quite sure. Quite yeah. Sure. I always take a glass in the morning. You should try. He's already gone. Already disposed it. Cigars are very bad for your chest. Mr. Ozato believes in a healthy chest. <laughs> Get down! <laughs> She saved him twice already. Yeah. I'm getting used to their back projections mm -hmm. when they're driving, right? In the 60s. At least this is real. There's the helicopter scene yeah, requested. They will uh, shoot it down. Nope. Something else. Oh. They just wrap it? <laughs> it's a magnet. <laughs> and where are they going to let it fall? In the sea? Yep. Japanese technology oh. efficiency. <laughs> He's trying to do the wheel <laughs> as well. Like. No. It's like there's an airplane above yeah. that. How is he seeing it? <laughs> How is he seeing that? And not that other people can see this, like, whoa, yeah. there's, they're dropping a car in the ocean. Yeah. Just a drop in the ocean. <laughs> zero, zero. Tact M. Tell him to send little Nelly. Repeat, little Nelly. What do you think that is, the little Nelly, her father? I don't know. What are they doing again? Yeah? There's no blood, nothing. I've got you now. Well, enjoy yourself. Is, that, is this the secretary? <laughs> Who are you yeah. working for? Well, enjoy yourself. In fact, well, that's when they'll try and get at you. No, You'll need the best man we've got. And leave you. But I have to get off. <laughs> they just used them. Every girl. So, little Nelly, what do you think it is? I don't know. A car? Can do anything. Just your type. A toy helicopter? No, it's certainly not a toy. Don't you think it's badass? No. You know, fly to work in the morning like this? No. But I'm going to work. <laughs> Oh, 
Look at how awesome that is. No, it takes off like a plane. Awesome. It isn't? It's the little Nelly. I think it's cool. Beautiful I fishing towns in Japan. Yeah. It is. Why are those fishing women have like goggles on? For snorkeling. I guess they look underwater to find the fish. I don't know how Japanese people fish. Maybe fish? someone in the comments uh, can tell. He's now in Hello, the volcano? There's nothing Flying here but volcanoes. Oh. Understood. Carry on. What is he looking at? He's looking for wherever the rockets came down that they stole in space. Mm. Oh, there's someone. One, two, three, four. Oh, the bad guy. How did he know that he was there? This time it does make sense, but it's not revealed yet. Look at the tail! It's see-through! Yeah, yeah, but those models have, have it like that. Things really exist. They've never seen a helicopter like that? Nope. They used one in from Russia with love as well to bomb him. It was one like this. But not see-through, right? Yes, it was. No, I mean the tail. Yeah. So, the helicopters are from Spectre. Who knows? Yeah, Spectre Just has give answers to my question. No, 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 no. It's not revealed yet where or not Spectre is involved again. You think Spectre is behind it again? I think so. <laughs> Where's that space shuttle or rocket go? Space. But the Americans thought the Russians kidnapped their spaceship, right? But that's not true. There they are again. Shoot, where's me? Amerikanski, you hear? Mm -hmm. So they're blaming each other. So they did it again. But now there are two in that shot. Now the other one day has come down in Japan, remember? Mm. They, they just don't know where. Volcano. Yeah. This this film set alone cost one million dollars, so more than the entire budget of Doctor No. Yes. It's one of the most impressive film sets they ever made for Bond, the uh, volcano layer. It's huge. What? Nothing. Action complete. What do you think is in the chair? Withdraw captive spaceship. Spectre. They're back again. They are going in the same like jail as the Americans. I think so, yeah. Good. Hans? Is that that guy from uh, from Russia with love? He's already dead, right? Red Grand, you mean? Hans does look like him. Yeah. The blonde henchmen, they always appear in the bar movies for some reason. Like the blonde muscular types. Yeah. It's usually a bad guy, except with Daniel Craig. She's number 11? Yeah. From the table. From the last movie. She wasn't at the table, but... No, there but were only men. You're right, but she is number 11. This organization does not tolerate... I think failure. he's going to kill the... He's going to kill him. It's always no. the one you don't expect, right? With Spectre. Like the Japanese castle. Beautiful, right? The, the castle? Uh, yeah. But the castle also. She did her hair. Hello. <laughs> Bad news from outer space. Yes, I heard it. So need a company of first-rate men. It's first not easy man. to walk in those sandals. Do you have any... It's all from wooden. I have two like two wooden thingies underneath. Hmm. 
Ninja training school. Oh? It's like Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> what? Did you saw that other guy? He did just like his sword and he turned and he just fell. Mm. And this blue one did nothing. I pieces to head up. I pieces to head up. Katsura. Katsura. They have to change a Scotsman to an Asian. It's. Konbawa. Mm Konbawa. -hmm. I don't think they shaved their chest no. hair really. What's here? Doing? Slowering a rope. <gasps> She's going to die. <laughs> That's a beautiful death. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. What's this? Wedding, Japanese wedding. Mm. For his cover. Mm. He gets to pick which wife he wants. I think the last one. She's the youngest, I think. Do you see how hard it is to walk on those sandals? Yeah, but you think what's the point of all this, the cover and the Asian nagging, if they already knew to poison him anyway? Clearly they know who he is. So this is the new Bond girl? Yeah. Her name is Kissy. Kissy Suzuki. <laughs> <laughs> He's, he's talking Japanese, but it's just not convincing when, when <laughs> Connery is just not an Asian. You can't change him to an Asian. This is fake. <laughs> yeah, very obvious. Alright. But the movie showcases Japan beautifully, I feel. Mm -hmm. They show so much of the country. They're in a cave where that fisher girl died. Yes. Kind of yes. It's to keep unwanted visitors away. Force gene gas to keep the visitors away. You notice the sulfur on the wall? And that's where we have to go next. Do you think you can make it? Of course. It's business. Good. Half you, you be like, nope, you go. That's not in the circle. <laughs> oh, they're already down. Okay. Is that deep? But the water, that's fake, right? So he's gonna find out now. It's metal. She's still half naked. Oh, oh my god, they're opening it. Get back to Tanaka, tell him to come here with every man he's got. Yes. So she has to go up the crater, into the woods, yep. with the boat. Back to the... Back to mainland. <laughs> yeah. She should have brought a walkie-talkie. And he ha had this in his back pocket. I guess this, so. This outfit. Nobody has seen Oh my god. What is... <laughs> Funny cards. So he has to get in that rocket. Yeah. 100 minutes. In our country, we say cosmonaut. Yes, uh, both of us. Yes, uh, get into their uniforms. And they just do it. Well, they have no choice, you know. He didn't just let them know he was MI6 or something like that. Oh, he just you said, mean? like, I'm going to blow up this door, stand back. 
But they know, okay, we're being helped, so we may as well cooperate. She's got a gun. He died. Is Kissy also gonna die? Why didn't they just kill the other one also? Then they just hijacked the the rockets. They didn't want to make too much noise, I think. So is Bond gonna go to space now? Yes, I think so. What is he doing? What's his plan? Stop that astronaut. Bring him to me. Stop that astronaut! Why? You noticed that it was burnt? You made a mistake, my friend. No astronaut would enter the capsule carrying his air conditioner. James Bond. Now he doesn't look Asian Allow anymore. me to introduce myself. I am Ernst Stavro Ew, Lofeld. his face! Do you remember yes, the name Lofeld? this Lofeld? is my second life. No. You only live twice, Mr. Bond. Oh, his face. And now clear. Oh, those are the explosives, right? Yeah, the rocket cigarettes. It's our opening. Well, James Bond, what are you going to do? What is he going to do? I don't know. Four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition! What's he gonna do now? VT! He brought back up at least. Wow! <laughs> Interception will take place in eight minutes. Nothing can prevent that. I this think the Americans or the Russians are inside in the rocket. There's a lot of ninjas. Yeah, but I like this climax a lot better than the underwater battle. Mm -hmm. Underwater battle. Yeah, in, that's uh, correct. Wonderful, yeah. I think. Kissy is still walking in her bikini in that volcano. <laughs> the tiger is fighting his, himself as well. Mm -hmm. Imagine M being here. Yeah. He just shot Sosara. Come on. Why does he just shoot Bond, right? Yeah. This is one of those moments of the just shoot him. <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Bond. You've got to get up there. Impossible to win defended. But he came from that, right? Yeah. Shurikens are pretty neat. Hans. <laughs> yeah, Hans. Oh, but there's like uh, piranhas, right? Yeah. <laughs> He doesn't use a couch again to fight. No. <laughs> this couch is too heavy. There are piranhas right over there. Yeah. Bon appetit. But if he push that button, this thing will blow up. Yeah. Got something? No, self destruction. And now there's lava. Yeah, that's what I said in my review. Like lava? Where the hell did that come from? Like it's a hollowed out volcano. Yeah. You know. right. <laughs> he 
his chest is not shaven at all. But they'll never let you stay. It's like they forgot about the Asian makeup mm -hmm. or something. It's but oh well. He gets the girl again. You only live twice. Okay, we finished watching You Only Live Twice. What did you think? It was a good movie with a good story. And I finally saw the one from Spectre. Yeah, Blofeld finally yeah. revealed. Did he live up to your expectations? He had a scar and a lazy eye or something, or like the scar tissue. Yeah. That was like, uh, what? Were you expecting him to look like that? or No. Were no. you expecting him to have hair maybe? Yes, and a little bit taller. Right, I agree. I agree. He's a, he's a lot less menacing than what he what he seemed to be in the previous mm -hmm. movies. Mhm. Mm yeah. Okay. Anything else you want to share before we get into the the rating on this movie? Okay. No. Well, let's just yeah. get into it. Oh, I have so much thoughts on this, but this is this is <laughs> about you. Um, first of all, Bond's performance. What do you rate him in this movie? Four stars. Four stars again. For the, so that was like Goldfinger Fundable and now this one, where you gave him four stars. Yeah. Okay, any comments on Connery in this movie? No, he did it just good, right. Yeah. Even the part where he's turned into an Asian man. Yeah, that was quite weird <laughs> to see that. Yeah, I he never... didn't look Asian. Not at all. I never mm -hmm. bought it. It's su such a weird... I mean, e if they dropped that aspect of the movie, the story wouldn't have been any different. Mm -hmm. It's not like it was needed in any way. The whole cover-up thing. Yeah. It's just weird. But Oh well, but Connery, for you, good job again. Yes. It's still uh, a good bond. Yeah, but this one was the last one, right? For now, uh, mm -hmm. it is. In the next one, George Lazenby enters the role. Uh, that was the model, right? Yeah. Uh, I'll show you a documentary of how he got the, the job. Okay. Um, you'll learn a little bit more about it, but like I tell, told you before, he only did it once. Then Connery does return. Um, you'll see later. Okay. Um, moving on to the Bond girls of this movie. Yeah. What did he give them? Three stars. Three stars, very yes. fair. What did you think of the Bond girls? Well, someone died. Yeah, then, Aki. Yeah, and then there was some other one who came step into her role. Yeah. But she looked just like her. Exactly, and we're not trying to be racist like all Asians look alike, but these girls look alike. They're, oh, they're I'm so Asian. <laughs> technically, yeah. So uh, th it's very similar that these two, th there's so interchangeable, I feel. I yeah, feel. but Kissy I think Aki. they had to do something with the sleeping scene. Yeah. That they had to put like on a thread, how do you call it? A yeah, thread? like a thread, yeah. And then with the... the poison. The poison. Yeah. Yeah, I guess, but uh, originally the actress that plays Kizzy was going to be uh, Aki. Uh, they were oh, going to switch like roles. Switch? Yeah. Okay. Um, but then I, I, I think there was something in her contract that she didn't want to play a character that died or something. I don't remember. Okay. Or she was suicidal. I don't know. There, there was some controversial story behind it that she eventually became Kissy. Um, oh, well. But so, this was a normal name. Aki. Aki was, but Kissy. Kissy not. Kissy is another Bond-like name. Kissy Suzuki as well. But, oh well. Um, but you liked Kissy and Aki? Yes. They were beautiful and they're beautiful dressed. Yeah. And the second one was only wearing a bikini in yeah. the last scenes. Yeah. It's like, it's like Honey Rider all over again. Just, you know, running around in the villain's lair in a bikini, <laughs> shooting at people. It's typical Bond stuff. Classic Bond stuff, I would say. Yeah. And um, he just said to her, just go back to them and say it to them. And I was like, 
Huh? <laughs> but then she had to go back up the crater, down the crater, yeah. through the woods, and then swim, swim all the way back. All the way back. Yeah. Tell them and go back again. <laughs> yeah, I guess if if the movie had them bring a walkie-talkie, wow. it would have been too easy because the, they would have saved them faster. Dead if I do that. Yeah, you'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> nope, you go, I will go inside. <laughs> Anyway, um, so the Bond girls, three stars. Moving on to the Bond villains in this movie. What did you think? Four stars. Four stars? Yeah. Tell us about the villains in this movie. Well, now they revealed Spectre, the number one. Yeah. Blofeld finally yes. revealed. And there was a Hans. Yeah. The Hans. assistant. He looked like the one from, from Russia with Love. I agree. Yeah. And um, who else? The red-headed? Yeah. She was yeah. like, at least to me, mm -hmm. did you feel so as well that she was similar to someone else that we saw previously? The red-haired woman? Oh yes, from, uh, what was that name? Thunderball. Yeah. yeah. Only not as good as Fiona Volpe, I feel. But well, they... They both stayed bad. Yeah, that's true. Even when Bond, uh, you know, kissed them or slept with them. He didn't sleep both. with Both. <laughs> yeah. He didn't sleep with this one, though. He, he only kissed with her. Oh, no, he did. He, he did, did sleep with her. Yeah, he slept with both. Yeah. Yeah, I guess then, uh, the effect of his uh, winning over is wearing said, off. Thanks. I will blow you up right now. In the plane. Yeah. Okay, so four <laughs> stars for the villains in yes. You Only Live Twice. Moving on to the locations. Four stars. Four stars in You Only Live Twice. Yeah. Nice. What did you think of the locations? It was only in Japan, right? Yeah, a lot of Japan in this movie. Um, he was in the first scenes in China. Oh, yeah. yeah. There he was killed. Yeah. You don't really see much of China, though, in this movie. It's mainly Japan. But right? how did he survive that? Good That's question. question for I guess it was staged. Staged? Mm -hmm. To make it seem he was killed. Probably the guns weren't... Um, but where came that all the blood? Yeah, I guess it was staged. I don't know. At least he wasn't really killed. But what did you think of Japan? Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. You see a lot of Japan. Yeah. Yeah. And the culture and traditions. It's like a travel From that log. time. Yeah. I think now it's very different. Well, yeah, obviously in technology and, and things have advanced, but I think if you go and visit traditional Japanese places like the houses. You've been there? No, but so I can't speak from experience, but I think <laughs> If you look at traditional, because I did stay in a Japanese uh, household once, um, who were traditional. A lot of it is similar. They, they a lot of the, the traditions and the bowing and the respectfulness and, and how how they treat people. Mm -hmm. uh, that they still remain that way to this day. Yes. I feel and culturally. So um, yeah, I think it's still pretty uh, faithful to Japan in some way. So I, I loved I loved this movie about in the locations. Um, anyway, <laughs> moving on to the story. Four stars. Four stars again. So tell us about the story. What did you you enjoyed it a lot? I guess I could keep up. <laughs> That's a plus. I guess yeah. the role of Dal writing helped. <laughs> I already said it in the beginning. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so to tell you, tell me, so you could keep up with the story and, yeah. and you, you. I knew where it was about the story. Yeah. And it's pretty simple. It was pretty simple. Sometimes I, w I was like, mm, what? <laughs> but then you said it to me a couple of times. Further. Yeah, I could give up. Okay, easy description there. Uh, moving on to mm -hmm. our final rating uh, of your enjoyment of You Only Live Twice. Four stars. Four stars, yes. yes. So this one you really enjoyed again. Yes, I was a little bit tired, but 
I just watched it. Right. I watched it all the way to the end. I never fell asleep. Yeah, well, we, in these movie it reactions, it's impossible. To watch. Yeah. And they just suck you into the movie, and you have to watch it because otherwise you miss parts of it. So it was enjoyable to watch. Yeah. I completely agree. It's a, uh, it's a good movie. Great one. So, with so much four stars uh, to this, obviously, uh, <laughs> your average score for You Only Live Twice is four stars, putting it at the same position as Goldfinger. So, okay. these are your top two uh, Connery movies at the moment. Which one do you prefer, if you could choose now, between Goldfinger and You Only Live Twice, just so the viewers know which one you favor at the moment? One. So this one is your favorite one yet yes. out of Connery's movies. I saw Goldfinger twice and this one once, so I don't know. Um, I didn't fall asleep at this one and this one just, yeah. This one sucked me into the movie, so. Straight away. Straight away. It was straight. Everything, yeah. every fact on this, in this movie. It was, oh, yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. You get it. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I can agree to this. To me, this is my guilty pleasure Bond movie. This one gets critiqued a lot. Some Why? hate it. Well, because of Bond turning Japanese, uh, the, the weird oh, disguise yeah. thing. Um, what the, the disguise thing? Well, he's dressed up to be Japanese, but oh, it yeah. doesn't go anywhere. Um, it's fantastical, you know, it's, there's a guy that has a volcano base, it's a lot less realistic. <laughs> and the than helicopter from, thing. Yeah, it's a lot less... Little, less how it's called? Little, little Nelly. Nelly. Yeah, I think all of that to me, it, it's a guilty pleasure. Um, so I can agree to your rating. It's to me, these are probably my two favorite Connery movies as well, strangely enough. Um, <laughs> so... Um, we did another movie reaction. Next time uh, we will be watching On Her Majesty's Secret but Service. But you said a documentary. Yeah, the documentary I will watch off screen with you. Oh, um, okay. Yeah, we will be back to watch On Her Majesty's Secret Service next time. So the um, Queen is in also in this one? Oh, because of Majesties. <laughs> Who knows? They, we'll see. They asked the Queen. We'll see. <laughs> We'll see in the next movie what that, what that is about. Well, there was a, a commercial with Bond and the Queen, right? No, that they were at the Olympics together. Yes, yeah. together. Yeah. Uh, anyway, you'll see in the next movie. Okay. Uh, please like, subscribe and comment. Leave your thoughts once again. And we will see you in the next movie reaction. Take care, guys. See Bye. you guys later.